Today, I am going to listen a story about Penny's Reunion Redemption. Once upon a time, in a charming little town nestled between rolling hills and a sparkling river, lived a young woman named Penny. Penny was an introvert by nature, her heart yearning for the quiet solitude of her books, painting, and the soft strumming of her guitar strings. She cherished the serenity that accompanied her solitary pursuits, and most of all, she relished the comfort of her own company. But, as the calendar turned to the peak of summer, Penny's anxiety began to flutter like a trapped bird in her chest. It was that time of the year again, the annual family reunion barbecue. Every year, without fail, her extended family would gather in the picturesque meadow behind her grandparents' old farmhouse for a day of laughter, arguments, and, as Penny secretly suspected, a dash of chaos. As the day of the reunion neared, Penny's apprehension grew, manifesting in a way that made her stomach feel like a tangled mess of threads. There would be children running amok, cousins bickering over board games, and loud aunts discussing everything from the latest neighborhood gossip to their secret barbecue sauce recipes. It was a world apart from her quiet haven, and the prospect of being thrust into it again made her heart race. The fateful day arrived, and Penny, dressed in her most comfortable yet presentable attire, made her way to the family gathering. She clutched her old, worn sketchbook as if it were her shield, hoping to find solace in her sketches, the delicate strokes of her pencils, and the familiar characters she brought to life on its pages. As Penny approached the meadow, the scene unfolded before her like a colorful, chaotic carnival. Children giggled and screamed as they played tag, while her cousins bickered loudly about whose potato salad was the best. Penny took a deep breath, bracing herself for the impending chaos as she wandered deeper into the revelry. But as she found a secluded spot beneath the welcoming shade of an ancient oak tree, her sketchbook in hand, something remarkable began to happen. She observed her family from her solitary vantage point and realized that, amidst the loud conversations and spirited debates, there was an undeniable warmth and connection that she had never truly appreciated. In the distance, her father was telling a hilarious anecdote to a group of uncles and cousins, their hearty laughter echoing through the meadow. Her grandmother, with her wise and gentle demeanor, was teaching the youngest ones how to make daisy chains. Penny's heart swelled as she witnessed her family's bonds, forged over generations, wrapped in laughter, stories, and love. As Penny's sketchbook absorbed the essence of this heartwarming scene, she felt an urge to be a part of it, to connect, and to converse. She took a deep breath and decided to leave her sanctuary under the oak tree, setting aside her sketchbook and stepping into the midst of her family. Her first encounter was with her teenage cousin, Lily, who was always bubbling with enthusiasm. 
Lily greeted her with a warm hug and said, Penny, I was just thinking about you. There's this amazing book I'm reading, and I thought you might like it too. The sparkle in Lily's eyes was infectious, and Penny couldn't help but smile. It was the start of something beautiful, a bridge that connected her world of art with her family's world of conversation. As the day went on, Penny found herself engaged in conversations she had never imagined having. She joined a lively debate with her cousins about the merits of a vegetarian barbecue, learned about her aunt's new bakery venture, and even ventured into a passionate discussion with her grandfather about his experiences during the war. Each conversation added a new layer of depth to Penny's understanding of her family. She learned that her family members were not just the characters she'd occasionally sketched from a distance but multidimensional individuals, with their own quirks, dreams, and stories. Penny's quiet nature seemed to dissolve as she realized how enjoyable and enriching these connections were. But perhaps the most magical moment of the day came when Penny started a conversation with her grandmother. They sat on a weathered wooden bench, the cool breeze playing with their hair, as her grandmother began to share stories from her youth. She talked about the struggles, the dreams, and the unbreakable bonds that held their family together. It was like turning the pages of a cherished family history book, and Penny hung on to every word, feeling her heart swell with gratitude for the stories that had made her who she was. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm, golden glow over the meadow, Penny knew that she had experienced something extraordinary. She had not just attended a family reunion. She had discovered a hidden treasure trove of love and wisdom that had been right in front of her, hidden behind the facade of screaming children and arguing cousins. As Penny made her way back home that evening, the tangled mess of threads in her stomach had transformed into a warm, glowing ember of contentment. She realized that stepping out of her comfort zone and engaging with her family had enriched her life in ways she could have never imagined. Her sketchbook, though cherished, was no longer her sole source of inspiration. It was complemented by the colorful stories and personalities of her family members. Penny had learned a valuable lesson that sometimes the most rewarding experiences come when we push past our anxieties and open ourselves to the world outside our comfort zones. Her once feared family reunion had become a day she would treasure forever, a reminder of the incredible depth of love and connection that could be found when we simply take a step forward and start a conversation. In the end, Penny's story was not just about a young woman attending a family reunion, it was a tale of transformation, a reminder that even the most introverted souls can find beauty, joy, and love in the vibrant tapestry of family and the world beyond their solitary sanctuaries. Penny's journey encouraged others to venture out, to start conversations, and to embrace the wonderful, 
Unexpected connections that life has to offer. Hope you like the story. Hit the like button and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and turn on the notification. Thank you.